then we're all coming back. <laughs> Come on back. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's, tomorrow, right? it's okay. So, December 20th, 1991, my parents decided to tie the knot, and I'm sure glad they did. Um, I'm just going to keep this short and sweet. Um, without their example in my life, I would have no idea what it's like to be in a great relationship with somebody. And they have given my brothers and I so much throughout our whole lives, and we are forever thankful for them. Uh, we are very happy that my mom did pageants and that the fact that she met my dad in a hotel is just the cutest story. <laughs> My grandmother was down in the gift shop and she told my mom, hey, Wesley, there's this very handsome guy downstairs. So, mom, if you'd like to lead it off from here, because this was your experience. Uh, it, Dad has a, a different experience than I do. But, uh, so, I, we, mother had gone in to buy a dress and um, I walked in with her. Actually, she had not told me about Jamie. We just walked in, right? No, so, I went up and told you about this cute little boy in the middle oh, right. <laughs> And you went down right away. <laughs> that was in the afternoon. But I was in there that morning and uh, I remember I remember Jamie just being there and he was, you know, dressed really nice and uh, we looked at each other. It was like West Side Story. It was like time stopped. I can, I can still see it. And then I went back down later that afternoon and I bought a hat pin. And I knew if I bought something, that's the only thing I could buy, that I could write a check for, then he'd have my name and my address and my phone number. <laughs> so, so I get through the line and he said, you know, I, asked, I said, do you have any Big Red? And he said, um, do you need Big Red? I said, well, it makes you kiss a little longer. He said, do you Aww. plan on kissing somebody tonight? I said, well, you never know. <laughs> so he said, I'm Jamie. I said, I'm Leslie. You know, I knew that he was Jamie. He had a pin on. <laughs> I asked him if he liked to dance, and um, he said he did. So after the event was over, um, I was first runner-up. I lost to the Bumblebee Queen, but I won my husband. Oh, yes. that's the oh. yes. And uh, he came up two weeks later and moved up a year later. We were married a year after that and had on a year and a half after that. Exponential. So it's just been a cycle and it's been a great one. So. Well, that's fantastic. It's been fun. <laughs> yeah, that's yes. And you have no say in it. <laughs> that's okay. That's all right. I did my part. What's your version? Uh, my version is a little abbreviated, of course. <laughs> yeah, guys, you know, we, we have a, uh, we live in shorter kind of terms, right? So, I remember Betty coming down earlier. Now, I worked at, I was a night auditor during the evenings, and, and the times where I had days off from night auditor, I worked in the gift shop. Because, you know, I didn't have anything else. I mean, I, I needed as many hours as I could. I had an apartment, I had a car, I needed to pay my bills. So, I was always there at the Marriott work. And in uh, your life, they have something like that. Um, almost as amazing as 25 years later, actually 27 years later, now to look yeah. back and see people like Tom Shelley, who I've known forever. Uh, Jim, we were talking when he came in, he's like, well, I've known you 18 of the 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, uh, just to see people around this this room that have came to spend a little bit of time with us. I'm much better at remembering lyrics than I am at speaking. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, I just I think it's incredible how two people can can uh, can love each other and can stay married for 25 years. I know I know it must be hard, of course. Uh, you know, with mom's uh, crazy mood swings or or or, or, da or, or dad's stick his butt in the room and fart kind of thing. Neighbor, you hear? You know what I'm talking about? It's tough. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really incredible. It's even harder and with children. I, I can't imagine. I can't, I, I can't imagine. And um, uh, I, I feel really lucky. And I'm sure, I mean, Anna already said it, but I feel like I speak for Kennedy and Anna as well. And I feel like I'm very fortunate to have been raised in a, in a house where two parents, where it's extremely rare that two are together this long. And uh, I just feel really really lucky that that was the case for me. I feel like it made me a better person. I feel like it made them a better, him a better person, her a better person. And I feel like it's been a great example for me 
And uh, yeah, just thank you guys. I love you. Thank you. Your turn. <laughs> Hi, baby. All right, so Kennedy is the youngest. He's seven years younger than I, and he's five years younger than Kennedy. Okay. Or Christian. Sorry. Say something funny. I don't know. Um. Well, you guys being together for 25 years, it's great. It's amazing. It's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. And and, and um. I'm kind of stuck here. <laughs> I didn't really plan on it. Um, to be honest. But uh, I'm glad you guys have been with each other. That's great. And uh, if you know, if you never came into the Marriott that day, Mom, you, I wouldn't have been here. That's right. Man, That's I wouldn't right. have been blessed with such a beautiful family of yours. So um, I'm just glad I've been with a family that uh, that I've grown up and that I've realized that I'm a lot different than any other kid. I feel like we stand out as a family and uh, really appreciate it and uh, I'm glad you uh, I'm glad you guys are with each other. It's it just makes me feel happy. It makes me feel warm. And it makes <laughs> what that and that's a, that's just a, that's just like that's just a, that's just what I think. That's what I feel and uh, I'm proud of you guys. Thank you very much. 25 years. 25 years. There we go.